The surgical theater is a three-dimensional interoperative navigation technology which allows us to reconstruct the surgical images for the individual patient and really enable us to tailor a specific surgical approach to that patient. Before we looked at landmarks on the surface of the skull, we looked at you know, where the eyes were, where the ear was, we drew a line between them and then we moved up two centimeters and that's approximately where the tumor was. They would put up uh, you know, one image that was uh, looking straight at you, another image looking from the side, and another image looking from the top, the different planes of view, but, you know, this, the, the surgeon still had to, you know, interpolate that and put everything together to make their own internal 3D vision of things. Now, with the advent of surgical theater, which is based on three-dimensional flight simulator technology from F-16s, it allows us to do a three-dimensional reconstruction of the image before surgery. What this enables is, is for us to do an actual fly-through in virtual reality of the surgery before actually laying hands on the patient. So this enables us to dramatically increase the margin of safety for these individual patients. In fact, just last week, we had a case where, based on the three-dimensional reconstruction, we actually had to change the ap surgical approach that we use in order to get a better approach, a better access, a better corridor to the tumor. This dramatically increases the protection of the natural tissues, including preserving normal brain tissue, normal blood vessels, and the surrounding tissues of the skull, bone, soft tissue, and skin itself. It allows for increasingly minimally invasive approaches uh, which are better for patients. They have fewer complications, shorter hospital stays, less blood loss, and better overall outcomes. We're the first center in Orange County to have it. And in fact, we're the first private hospital west of the Mississippi to have it. So it's amazing that we've been able to bring this here to Hogue. And it's because we've got such a great community surrounding us that are interested in advancing, the, pushing the, the perimeters of medicine and making things better and safer for the patients. I mean, this is the era that we live in, using these rapidly advancing technologies to increase the safety and efficacy of what we do and allowing us to tailor it to each individual patient. And now, now that we've brought it here, I mean, it's, it's becoming rapidly integrated into our, in our, our part of our our daily routine. Obviously, you know, this kind of investment, this kind of technology is relatively expensive, and we're fortunate that Hogue was able to put forward the investment because they saw a future. They saw us building a future for virtual reality guided neurosurgery around the surgical theater. And be able, be looking forward to advancing this technology and integrating into our daily practice and being able to educate patients with it and increase the margin of safety and specifically tailor our approach. Fortunately, we live in a community where the patients really take ownership of, of our hospital. And it elevates us from being a run-of-the-mill community hospital to really a center of excellence for this kind of care. And, it, and it's, it's only because that the hospital and the administration and the team here is willing to put forward the investment. Just, not just the financial investment, but the investment in people, the investment in time in order to bring these things to fruition.